This is Michael Orl of AndroidAuthority.com and MobileBurn.com, and today I have with me a special treat. This uh, exotic little piece of kit here is the General Mobile DSTL1. It's uh, the company's first Android-based smartphone. Pull it out here. You can see it's still sealed, never been opened, so uh, pull out a trusty X-Acto knife and open it up here. Flip it open, and here's the phone. It's uh, silver and black, it appears. Uh, black on the back, large touchscreen on the front, three inches, I believe. And on the back, you can see the five megapixel camera and the LED assist flash. Camera shutter button here, USB port, regular mini USB port. On the bottom, looks like a lanyard fixing point. On the left hand edge, volume control, nothing up top. Pretty simple design. Let's see what's in the rest of the box. Here's a pair of uh, stereo earbuds. They appear to plug into the mini USB port. Looks like it's also a three and a half inch, three and a half millimeter adapter, rather, which is nice. There are a couple different sizes of earbud covers there regular mini USB cable, US charger, mini USB charger, pair of batteries which is nice, um, that's especially nice because it comes with a regular charger so you can have one battery charging while you're using the other one. It's really quite nice. Cleaning cloth, nothing too fancy there. It's a quick user guide and the full user manual memory card in here it seems. This is a micro SD adapter. Must be a regular card in here somewhere. This is a CD with, uh, doesn't say what's on there. My guess is there's a memory card already installed in the device. You can find where the port is. It's a dual SIM device so Transflash card, as they're calling it. A little hard to get out. You can see it's a 4 gig card that it comes with. That goes in here, and then there's room for two SIM cards as well. It's a dual SIM device. So um, when I boot it up later, I'm going to put a T Mobile and an ATT SIM in there and see how it works going back and forth. Let's see if there's something else in here. Yep, there appears to be a case included as well. Not bad looking. Magnetic latch on it. Yep. Not too shabby. I'm going to show you up there how the sims work. Each of the two sims that the device supports goes in one of these little trays. And they're both stacked right here and slots right next to each other. This is just a dummy sim showing you how it goes in there. And then of course the micro SD slot right there, they're calling it TransFlash, which is the old name. Go stick the battery back in. And we'll power up the device. Looks like the bottom right hand button here just vibrated so I can tell it's actually booting. Thankfully there's a little bit of battery power in it. There's a screen calibration utility running now. I'm going to grab the stylus, which is up here. There it goes. Looks like I've managed to calibrate it. It says press menu to unlock. That turns out to be the center button on the D-pad. And there you can see it, the Android menu. I still have the protective screen cover on here, so it's probably making it a little diff more difficult to slide back and forth than it would otherwise. It's kind of grabbing on the fingernail and everything. So.
Let's see what kind of information we can glean from the device. Firmware 1.5, so this is running the cupcake based firmware. So there you have it. First boot up of the DSTL1 from General Mobile. I'm Michael Oral for AndroidAuthority.com and MobileBurn.com.